Chris Haynes, Yahoo Sports. Hey, Chris. See you. Um, injuries always been a part of the, the NBA, and you know, load maintenance, um, load management over the last few years. You talked about this before about looking at the potential reduction of games in the regular season. Where do things stand with that right now? Is that something that is? Do you see that can be beneficial, or this is still up in the air? So, Chris, to your point, um, it's something we've been talking a lot about the last few years. Um, and I'm not against potentially changing the format of the season, even, me, even possibly shortening it a bit, if we can demonstrate that that's going to have a direct impact on injuries. And, for example, last season we, we played 10 fewer games and essentially had no impact. People, and people seemingly qu quickly forgot. I mean, again, it was a function of COVID and, and our need to start the season later and end later. But we played a 72-game season instead of an 82-game season last year. And yes, it's true, if players aren't on the floor, it reduces the chance they can get injured. But as I've said before, what we don't see is increased numbers of injuries as the season goes on. It's not as if because of fatigue, over the course of a season, you see more injuries. We do see a connection between um, actual fatigue, for example, from back-to-backs or threes in a row. We think that um, potentially can lead to more injuries. So I think the way we're trying to look at it now is rather than think about reducing the number of games, we're both thinking from a competitive standpoint, is there a way to improve what to many people is a long regular season? And one of the, one of the ways we're thinking of doing that is an in-season tournament something we've been talking a lot about. We're not there yet. We continue to talk to the competition committee about it, our team governors, the players association, to see is there a way throughout the season to create more meaningful games, more games of consequence, potentially a tournament that would arguably replace some of the regular season games, um, but would be me more meaningful. So I, I think generally we would be operating in the same footprint for a season you know, beginning roughly the same point in October, ending around mid-June, but enhancing the competition in certain ways. And, and you, just real quickly, you, you mentioned load management. I mean, that is something that we are concerned about at the league, meaning that we want to make sure we have a system where our best players are incentivized to be on the floor. At the same time, we obviously don't want to see them injured. And so what we're hoping is we can all work collectively, the 30 teams together, in a non-competitive way, together with our players' association, and figure out what is optimal on these players' bodies so that they're incentivized to play but aren't overdoing it to the extent where they end up playing too much and, and pushing through injuries that, that ends up hurting their careers.